guys welcome back to my channel and I'm here with another video today um, I'm talking about the top five fitness apps that I use on my phone this is my phone right here I have the iPhone 6s plus so you know not a new phone but I'm just talking about my fitness apps that I love using um, each one of these apps have a different purpose of why I use it so, so I just wanted to share with you the apps that I use and maybe it can help you in the future so let's get started okay so on my phone I have a whole block of fitness apps and the first one that I always use is my fitness pal which is this here um, I use this basically to track my meals um, but you don't like if I know a lot of people don't like the calorie count so if you don't like to do that you can still just track your macros you can track your nutrition so it, particularly any type of diet that you on, you can track it on here if you want to track because I know some people don't but if you're like me they want to know what you're putting in your body what you're eating this is a good app um, I also use this to track my exercise because you can log in your exercise and you can also track your water using this um, with my water I use a different app for my water but it does um, connect with my fitness pal but I do like this um, on my first weight loss journey I did um, I would say about maybe four to five years ago I, that was my first app that I started using was my fitness app and I loved it so that would have to be my number one choice for my fitness apps the second app I use is the water log app which looks like this um, I use this basically just to track my water and I also like this because this connects to uh, my fitness pal and it also connects to my health app um, basically I track this um, track every eight ounces of water so I try to at least get in eight cups I know that's been my struggle lately so I'm trying to use all these apps to help me um, stay track of water so as I said I've been using this and I just said I like the fact that it you know connects to my fitness pal so I can just plug it in here and it'll automatically bring the information to my fitness pal and you can also set timers on this um, I need to start back doing it because I used to have timers where each hour I'll at least make sure I drink a cup of water so you know I won't be dehydrated just you know just getting that water in so this is another good app that's to say if you really try to track your water this is good the next app is kind of two apps in one so if you have the um, iPhone you, you know this is automatically on your phone it's the health and activity app um, I basically this is kind of like a screenshot of everything since I have a lot of apps that's connected to my health app it basically puts it all in one it has like um, my steps you know my exercise information my nutrition my heart rate um, sleeping just anything that I wanted to track it would track it on here and it's just basically all in one so if I don't want to go in each app to see what I'm doing I could just go here it has everything here it also has water and that's so you could connect a lot of your apps to this so this is one thing that I do like and since I do have the Apple watch I use the activity app which works with the health app which looks kind of like this I, I just started my day so that's why it's <laughs> pretty empty but this is another good app um, it basically show you your standing hours your exercise hours and also your mood and this is also good since this is connected to the watch your watch will tell you different things like hey you need to sit and breathe for a second or hey you need to get up and walk around or move or so whenever I do on my watch it brings it over to my phone and this connects to the Apple health app so that's why it's all kind of connected in one um, but it, you know if you don't have Apple watch you don't have to use this you can just use your straight health app to plug in everything which I do like is the next app that I enjoy is the calorie king app which looks like this basically okay just to be real a lot of times I do go out to eat and you know this is a good thing to help you uh, pick out I guess a more healthier less calorie type choice um, it's just good to know what you're eating what you put in your body so it breaks down all the nutrition information so if I go out to Wendy's or if I go to Dairy Queen or anything like that I can pull it up in here and try to track the calories just you know at least be a healthier your um, option of course going out eating fast food all the time is not healthy but you know at least with this you can at least kind of pinpoint some better options than going all full out and 
getting some with a big calorie bomb. So I like this. And it also tracks just everyday food. Like if you eat, let's just say a plum, and you just want to know how many calories or the fat or anything in there. You can just look that up and it can give you an estimate of the calories of size, um, of different types of different foods you're eating. Also name brand foods that you can find in the store. It can also give you the calories and just all the nutritional facts for um, each thing you're looking for. So I definitely like this. And the last app I want to talk about, on my phone I have about one, two, I got three different uh, let me see if I can kind of zoom it in without the light hitting it. But I have about three different running apps. I have the Zombie Run, which is a fun one. I might do a video on that later on, kind of explaining that app. And I have the 10K Runner app, which basically training me to run up to a 10K. And then I have the Nike Run um, Club app. And I'm going to talk about that one because that one kind of links in with my other two apps. And basically, I'm going to get back to my run. I started off at the beginning of this year running. Then I stopped um, because I need... <laughs> I think I have some headphones I finally found that can go over my ear. Because I know whenever I had earbuds, it was hard to put it in with my piercings. But since they pretty much not sore anymore, I can put over the overhead headphones and be fine. So... But anyways, I'm not talking about that. Uh, with the Nike app, basically it's just a running app. Um, it has GPS built into it, like if you use it through the phone or your watch. And like I said, my other running apps, I can pull in that information into my Nike Run app. So I like that fact. So, you know, if I don't necessarily use a Nike app, like I use a different running app, I can still pull that information into that so it can still track my miles and my distance. And also in the Nike app, it has like different training programs. And you can also, um, if you know anybody else that's usually, you can um, request them as friends so y'all can kind of motivate each other through the app. And also with this app, you can use it outdoors or indoors. So like if you're just using it um, on a treadmill, it's absolutely fine. You can also use it outside. Cause I know some running apps I used in the past, it was only geared for outside, so if you try to go to the gym and or if you're at your home and you just want to use your treadmill, it wouldn't work. But that's one thing I do like about this, that it works both places. And another thing, you don't necessarily have to use the app all the time. Like, like I said, if you run on your treadmill and it gives you the information like your distance and everything on there, you can just plug it in your app and it still track all your miles, your distance, you know how long you run, your pace, and everything. So that's another app that I like. So that's it with all my apps. Like again, that's just my top five, but I have a lot more health apps that I use to kind of help me along my fitness journey. Um, let me know in the comments what fitness apps you using, because they'll say I'm always downloading some. And if it's anything that you think I should check out, just let me know. If you have any, also if you have any questions about any of the apps, just also let me know in the comments too and I try to reply. And also I forgot to mention that all the apps that I mentioned today, all of these are free apps. So you don't have to pay anything. Of course, um, I think my fitness pal, like if you don't want the ads, you have to pay for that. And like the same thing with the water log. But like I said, I never paid and this worked fine for me. But it's just kind of, you know, your choice if that's what you like. But um and also the zombie run, I think you have to pay for that, so I take that back. But I didn't really talk about that one, so kind of getting off track again, but you get what I'm saying. So if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my fitness journey videos or just any of my beauty related videos, just hit the subscribe button because, you know, I love that you're here. So uh, just make sure you do that, and I'll see you next time.